In the last video, I told that we're doing this because it's very important for teachers to have fun and for students to have fun. And we thought, why don't we test it? I wrote these nice lessons and we have the actual game and we have lessons plans. And well, you click on that, you get the lesson plan and let's go through it. Let's go through it, but first. So I will be a teacher today. And this is a student. Yes. We have chosen the youngest one out of all of us. Larry is our video producer and she does these videos and she helps me to produce the streams. And she is also a designer. <laughs> At least that's what her boyfriend thinks. Rita, you are a business developer from Luden, right? Yes. Um, hello, everyone. And... <laughs> And your role today is actually to make sure that what we're saying makes makes actual sense. My role today is not only talk, but also yeah, to prove that actually all things work and all things will help you to you know conduct the lessons at schools and everything works smoothly. And from my best knowledge, you actually talk to actual teachers and let them test the game and watch them playing and help them understand how this game works for 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 them. Yes, I'm on this path right now. Um, yeah, I'm talking to teachers. I'm giving them the the game, but you know, regarding the feedback, so there's a lot to learn still yet. So I'm not ready to discuss this topic yet. Okay, Maybe let's start. Let's episode. start with the game. So lesson zero is about creating an image of the scientist, and we already know that the scientist is the cat. He possesses certain qualities, and we're about to set on a journey. I mean, like. The ultimate goal is to build like a, sa a satisfaction device, and huh. uh, we will be traveling to another planet, to an unknown world. So, as far as history. I understood, the lesson zero is the lesson where it's, you're getting into the lore when your teacher is telling exactly. what's going on. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, and that's how teacher's guide looks like, and pretty much you get like teachers get the whole narrative of of what to say, of what to show, like. Uh, the scientists, so, like for example, that's what like the slide is, and uh, so the lesson zero is uh, basically you don't play the game. Exactly. You right. start playing from and one. then right. yeah, and 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 uh, pretty much yeah, the teacher talks to to the kids, sets the context, and teachers are kids are to feel like. Th think about this whole science thing and fill in okay dive deep into, into the, the lore dive deep into what's going on um, okay i understand think about the scientists and yeah so the whole narrative the whole the whole narrative is in the workbook and then the clear outcome so it's very easy for a teacher to 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 understand what this uh, what the lesson does and uh, what is machine learning, what is science engineer, so that kids can send that. Okay, can we go mm -hmm. to lesson one so we can uh, do more practical things? Yes, lesson one, learn how a transporter works okay. using the scientific method. Scientific method, phenomena-based learning. There we go, there we go. Rita, what fascinates you about lesson one? That it's very easy. It uh, teaches you the basic concept, how to you know like manipulate, how to navigate in the game, and it's not overwhelming. So I guess for mid school students, at least we believe in that. For them, it will be really easy to understand uh, the basics of the game. Nothing, mm -hmm. nothing complicated. Just try it out. Cool. Can I play it already? Yes, it actually tells <laughs> that, yeah, so like open up the lesson one. Oh my god, oh my god. Open that up lesson be... one, and that's what you have. Oh, your favorite kids, <laughs> your favorite kittens, who just fall down. Okay, Look at right. this cute kitty in the backpack. Yes. And, um... Okay. Right, so what does a teacher's guide say? I don't know. I'm I'm already playing. <laughs> <laughs> she can tell it because she's a student. Yeah, and so the teacher guys has some questions like, take a look at the first scene. What other buildings can be found? What is going on in this planet? Mm -hmm. And uh, so basically, I just have to yeah. Walk so you around. just explore. You just explore, and uh, yeah, teacher keeps asking questions. How are all cats the same? Oh. What type of cat visitors have you noticed? 
No, I did what not. What do you need a I'm... backpack for? Oh, sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I was uh, killing cats. Right, but like here you cannot see, you cannot destroy the whole thing. You still yes, like. I'm, I was trying. I cannot destroy the buildings. I, I cannot destroy the. Yeah, Order. look, and the teacher guides uh, suggest that the problem is that cats are coming to the store to get products, but they don't get them, right? So, what are you doing? <laughs> Destroying! Actually, the she's actually doing the right thing. She will need these uh, cotton plants in the future. But the thing is, like, we haven't introduced the concept of the product yet. Basically, the problem, which we're trying to kind of investigate here, is about like having a line, having cats, and connection, and like buildings, and connection between buildings, which is not complete. Yes, so, but like Alec told me to go through and walk, walk around and look what kind sure. of buildings I have. So I... Yeah, but look, right now you have this thing that is broken, and uh, the teacher, as a narrative, like I'm looking in the teacher's guide, the narrative is... Okay. The narrative is that... Um, the narrative is that there is a problem. Cats are coming to the store to get products, but they don't get them. Mm -hmm. That's what you see. And that's what kids are to fix, pretty much, in this class. All right. I saw that there is one more cat transporter. Can I build from here? Uh, you can try. How to rotate? There is uh, R on the keyboard. Yes. Oh you just you just need to put it on the planet and then press R above. You know we have two lines. I will create one. You know I don't like easy ways. And I'm reading here the, the narrative and it's like, I don't know, like, imagine you're a kid and then it says, the hypothesis is being formulated in a form of statement such as cats become more obedient if you feed them boiled chicken. Okay. Okay, here you go. Wait. <laughs> this, go this goes against what usually kids... Oh no, I think no. I think Lara, you're doing the right thing. <laughs> okay. What have you done? So, how do you th how do you think, Lara? What's happening inside of the store? Okay, so as far as I see, they're trying to oh my god buy something cotton, and they don't have it. That's why they're sad. All right. Okay. So, uh, for now, you know that actually cats want to buy a cotton, but yes, it's out of the stock. So the could you could you actually state the problem we are having right now? Okay, so well, I thought that you stated problem already that no, cats no, actually, are coming. It's, it's it's the work of the student to state the problem. I'm I'm trying to only to point out like you know possible things, which we need to fix. Well, probably we need to find some cotton and give to cats to the store, so okay. they okay. will be happy because right now they're unhappy. Okay, All of them. This is great. This is because this is a hypothesis we're trying to teach the students. And what would be the possible solutions to, you know, like, possible well, ways to prove the hypothesis? To prove it? Yeah. Kind of. Well, I think the, the fact that their faces are green and sad, this is why. <laughs> or uh, which, the, which question are you asking exactly? Because I got a bit... No, I'm 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 Note. saying I'm telling you about like the ways like you think that for example that they need cotton to become yes. happy. So you need to experiment to prove that your hypothesis is correct. And the way okay, to experiment so is by yes. I see that I have cotton, I'm giving them cotton. You wanted cotton. And, and they're becoming happy. So it seems yeah. that my assumption is actually... right. And you're actually earning money for making cats happy. Isn't that great? That's amazing, I think. Yeah, and I'm looking at the teacher's guide, and that's pretty much, like, what has just happened was exactly scripted, like, one by one in teacher's guide, including Clara's answers, which she came up with on her own without watching okay, the teacher's I, guide. because I didn't read the teacher's yeah. guide. Yeah, so what I'm trying to say is that it works. It works. Kate... Kate, the way you designed it, it works perfectly. 
even such an ignorant teacher as me who like totally failed to do everything and really failed <laughs> me, like it worked with Lyra still. So the teacher's guide is great. Yeah, but uh, you still need to know how to ask questions properly, like Margarita did. But you are not teacher. I think teachers no. are no, able no. to. All these questions were actually were actually present in the teacher's guide. Okay, I have more important question. Like, so here comes the hint for teachers. If you don't know what to ask, you can always look at the teacher's guide. Like, you know, to have like which which kind of supports you during the class and makes your work easier. Let's discuss the exemplary plan of our actions. How can we decrease the number of unhappy cats? Well, I the, I have a problem, teacher, you know? I killed all the cotton that was on this area. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, I cannot give more cotton for my cats. You and see? Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. Basically, we are coming to the conclusion that we cannot... Not all provide, cats. <laughs> yes, we cannot <laughs> provide, uh, you know, we cannot make cats happy by just collecting cotton on the map. It's impossible. The cotton is, the amount of cotton on the map is limited, so we need to find a way how to supply the cat store with cotton so that all cats are happy, and this process is kind of infinite. Okay. For that, we have to move to lesson. We're on lesson two, right? The lesson three. Uh, this, then. this, this one was first one. Okay, then we have to move to lesson two. Okay, let's move to lesson two. Let's do, 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 do. move to lesson two. Oh. Get acquainted with the cotton collector and cotton delivery to the store. So, Lara, can you switch to lesson two? I am on lesson two. You're already on lesson two. She's genius. She's a genius kid, right? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> pretty wow. much. So yeah. Introducing the game map, then the machine that... Right, and again, this guide pretty much tells us what to do, and there, there is a whole narrative uh, with, with timings. Oh, so there is cotton that I cannot remove from the... Because I removed some last time. And then I cannot remove this time. Yes, because in this lesson you have to find the way, another way of, you know, like, you know, collecting cotton to provide it to your um, cat store instead of just clicking on it. That's why it was locked to, you know, unexpectedly break the lesson for a teacher. It was All right. So Georgi wasn't lying when he was talking that, like, he never this, lies. this, <laughs> he only sings. <laughs> and if you don't get the joke, please watch the previous episodes, George. Okay, so the cats want still caught and I have some. I might may give them. But you that can would try. not be enough, yes. You, you can try. I mean, like... Uh, we, Maybe they would like to have... <laughs> <laughs> Some cats really like wood, but... Seems not that happens. ones. Let's see what happens. Yeah, and again, it's so fun. I'm looking at uh, the teacher's guide, and the way... Like, the questions that Lyra is asking are, like, scripted here. So, Kate, again, if you wrote this, you knew exactly what would happen in, the, in an ignorant kid's mind. <laughs> That's okay, how it let's works. go here. I see that, like, something. Talking to the microphone. Okay, okay, I'm researching it. Hmm, what but I'm we haven't saying. talked about the concept of researching something. That's, a, it's, that's quite interesting. Uh... And you figured out it by yourself. Yeah, because there's nothing left to do already. I, like, played with iron. I got as much iron as I could. I don't have cotton anymore. They don't want metal or wood. So I walked around. And the only thing that I was allowed to do, actually... So basically, what you did, you unconsciously applied the, the scientific method. Method. You tried all possible solutions which were available to you on the map. You collected cotton, you collected iron... And then you finally found out the monument, and that was the last place to, you know, like to experiment with. And you found about the cotton collector that that you actually can research it. So you see, guys, like Claire is already grown up, but she's applying <laughs> scientific method, and scientific method is helping her with a new game she barely played. So okay, see how but it works. 
But you can Again, be, like, this like, can look, be a in real look life. Look into the teachers. I'm so amazed. Like the, it's exactly like scripted. It was scripted. What gonna happen next? I am so amazed. Like exactly with the, with with this, uh, like. That's very cool, but I have problem. I cannot okay. take a card and collector because <laughs> I don't have any wood, apparently, and there is no wood for me left. Oh, probably it's in the store. Oh, I can take it from the store. I'm sorry, I'm very stupid. No, the lesson, the, the teacher's guide says that you're very smart. Okay. And that you're going, like, exactly to how Kate scripted you would do. You and would you just earned game. another point as a smart student. Opa. Nice, I made nice. something. Yes, cool. But I want to... Probably I need this one. And uh, then I have to build it to the store. Why it's on the... Oh, I need to create them. Yep. And that's again how it's scripted in the plan. And uh, obviously, if we were to do an actual lesson uh, and uh, brief our magnificent student of what to do, she would have had an easier time, and again, that's that's what is there in the class. But we're trying to speed run through through the whole thing. Okay, so cats are getting happier. Look at their happy faces. I did my job. Great. Oh, but do you oh. see? Do you still see that? You know, not all cats are happy. Uh, yeah, some of them are not. Okay, okay. Oh, Time I don't, for lesson three. I don't have enough cotton for this. Mm -hmm. But if, for example, I would build the cotton collector here and suck it here. Yes, here. but you cannot because that's in lesson three. Ah, okay. <laughs> so switch to lesson, lesson three. Lesson yeah. three. So lesson three, lesson three. Getting acquainted with the yarn ball maker and yarn ball delivery to the store. Lesson goal, get acquainted with the complex product, yarn ball research. And Why again, there is like a full walkthrough and and uh, you will okay, need wood, so yeah, you will need metal. Cats want this ball, they don't want my cotton. No more yeah, cotton. Uh, can you, can I, do you actually notice that not all cats are of the same type? Well, what do you mean not the same type? They look differently. Yeah, they do. They look differently, it's... they have different demands, and some need cotton, some need, you know, yarn balls, which is not present still in the game. Well, yeah, they all want yarn balls, and I don't have one. So I go and delete things from the app. So the problem here, basically, is that we need somehow to make uh, different cats happy, but we don't still have a product to make them happy. And yeah, you already moved to the right place, to the monument, to make... Yeah, because research. last time I remember that I was supposed to do that. But Lera, do you remember what you have to do from your pre pre previous playthroughs of the game? Or is it a new knowledge that you have just gained while playing the first several levels? Uh, you mean creating this thing? Yeah. I, I took it from last Like research, time. for example. Was it intuitive for you, or did you just play the learning factory before? That's uh, what you can do. I did play, to be honest. Should I lie? Uh, I haven't no, played you ever. You should not lie. <laughs> or rather, you should you should pretend you're an ignorant kid and do what ignorant kids do. Ah, uh, well, I created this thing, but it doesn't work for some. Or maybe I put it. I'll watch in the, in the teacher's guide and see ah, if what she's doing okay. is, has been scripted by Kate. It's just so fun <laughs> to see how how Kate has scripted our life without even knowing that. So basically, oh. we can predict the future. Well, what yeah. Gonna say. Oh. That's I how we see this. Okay, so again, we're looking at the cats. Some of them are not happy because not enough yarn balls. And can you come up with a hypothesis? Why aren't they happy? Well, because I don't, my production of yarn balls are not that big uh, that they want it to be. Oh, some of them want cotton! Yeah, this is the right hypothesis for this lesson, actually. Some of them want cotton, I didn't see that before. Yeah, some of them really need cotton, so you need to make... You need to repeat again what you did in the previous lesson. Okay. 
but this time it should be done differently because here we're introducing a concept of uh, how, how it's called. I forgot what's the name of this device. And actually, can you like? Do you see what, what's the name? It's of yeah, it? I am. Um, like this it, one. It, it separates the production line. Ah, the splitter thingy. Yeah, exactly. Splitter thingy. Okay, so this one I have to do like in this lesson. You have to research it fast. Yeah. Because, like, we yeah. always had unhappy cats uh, in the end of the game, in the end of the lesson, so I thought that it's fine. <laughs> so I thought that, like, oh, okay, maybe next lesson we're going to make them finally happy. But Okay, okay so maybe, maybe this is something we have to reconsider if we have, like, unhappy cats by the end of the lesson. I think they should be happy just to make, you know, also students happy that they did a great job, you know, completing the lesson. Or Thanks like after three classes, after three lessons, there are still unhappy cats. It can be very demotivating. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, know, because I like because I see unhappy cats and I think, okay, maybe well, that's maybe it. you're doing it wrong. No, I, I I think that like okay, this is the end of the lesson because they are always unhappy. So what can I do about that? Mm -hmm. And the game is all about the unhappy <laughs> cats, right? That you are trying to right, Lara. But where you are, like, yeah, have you have you passed the lesson already? Or I don't know. You? You're a teacher. Why are you asking me? Uh, I'm looking through teacher's narrative now. Like, what what am I to say as a teacher? So yeah, research the device that can be can make yarn balls yes. in the monument. Learn what is required to build such a machine. Yes. To assemble it, provide cats with products, yarn balls. Draw yeah, summarize and yeah, and then there is a research part, and then there is a research part, and. Uh, yeah, but that's what pretty much uh, Rita has explained. Can you come up with the solutions, like how to fix the problem that cats need uh, also cotton, but there is a problem obviously here. What, what previously did you do? Well, uh, pr previously nothing. <laughs> I was collecting cotton, but I don't see the place where I can collect cotton anymore. So probably it goes from this, but it goes to yarn ball makers. So it means that I have to divide somehow this. Exactly, exactly. Way. Somehow you need to use the same uh, cotton machine and basically build up another line to provide cotton to the cat yeah. store. But that's the lesson four. That's the lesson four, actually. Okay. In lesson three, you have gotten acquainted with the yarn ball maker, constructed it, and built it. Like that's that's it. In lesson four, you are to get acquainted with the splitter. But should I? Look, I have cotton here. You can try. You can try. You know, use yeah, that. Yeah, just for the fun of it. Why not? For the sake of the experiment, and see what happens. Okay. Let's let's collect all resources from the map. This is our experiment. Yes, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, so probably I will not have enough of resources because I feel oh yeah yeah. Because I feel like the Margarita's voice is a bit like tricky. Dubious, dubious. She doesn't she doesn't believe in you. She doesn't believe in you. I believe in every teacher and every student we are going to, you know, collaborate Okay, okay, with. okay. So I want cotton collector. Have it on my backpack. I will build it here. Okay, I will build it here. Actually, I think that should be like a credo of life that you have to experiment always. Fail, yes. experiment, like like also <laughs> in a startup in startup world, the concept the con the concept of build, measure, learn. You evaluate what you what you want to learn, then you build, and then and then you measure the results. Here's the same. Okay, let's see if I fail. So probably I think, I hope I can... But you don't have a splitter, how do you connect this whole thing? Or maybe you can I wanted it. to connect straight to the store. Straight to the store. Maybe actually so, Larry just, just broke this lesson by, you know, achieving the same thing. Smart. Yeah, achieving the same thing, but with a different way. Entrepreneur approach, I would say. Yeah. She has a startup, so she gets used <laughs> to it. But can you connect it just to this? No, you cannot. Wait, you can. You can. You Look, can. it works. Yeah. It works? You broke the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm work. sorry. Can you see if the cats are happy? 
Like, do they get this? Show their well, faces. They... Yes. Happy? Yeah. Happy. All of them has to be, have to be happy. Well, nope. but like the I cannot. Well, you I can... technically can make one more yarn ball thing. Can you? Do you have Actually, resources for that? I think you can. Well, I think I can put it somewhere here, and then I would use splitter. But you cannot use splitter in this class. Oh. Well, what you is... need a new next lesson where the splitter is available. But then look, what we see is that... But oh, yeah, overall, like... I can create splitter. Can okay. It's fourth lesson. So what, what did I break? Tell me. <laughs> Because I no, don't know I mean, the plan, so like, I'm doing no, how I, mean, I feel. Didn't break anything, it's just, you know, used another way to achieve exactly the same thing, which is also good because, you know, it's all about experiment. You experiment, try out the solution, if it works, then it works. If it's not optimal, you try to, you know, find out other solutions and experiment with them. It's It's okay. But what I would suggest here, as we're kind of going beyond the lesson number four, is basically if cats are still unhappy with the uh, yarn ball stock, you can, you know, move it a little bit further, closer to the cat store, so that, like, the pathway is shorter for yarn balls. I think it's possible. I'm just thinking if, if like, if... A teacher meets such a smart kid as Lera, like what would teacher do? Like embrace the smart kid and let the kid, you know, solve the lesson in this like clever way, or does the teacher inspire all kids to sort of to funnel them through the thinking process as designed in the lesson plan? I think that the teacher should allow the student to go his way, his his or her way, because it's it's important, like you know, to find solutions which are beyond the I don't know conventional thinking. Here we're basically achieving the same thing, which is just using a different approach. Oh, so oh my god, I failed everything. No, you're Why great. Do you think so? You're great. <laughs> it's problems with the roads. <laughs> Hey, Lera, what's more important? Are you having fun right now? Yes. But, like, you like don't care what coaster. we say. <laughs> no, like, you don't care what we say, right? Like, you, you, you don't care what we tell you to do. You just, like, figure it out by just clicking around and figuring out, like, okay, so cats happy and happy. You don't really listen to the task, do you? <laughs> ah, what? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And I'm thinking, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think no, in a class it could be more official because of like you know the amount of people who will be sitting together and uh, the authority of a teacher. Yeah, I don't have authority here. But the on another <laughs> thing, like in the lesson plan, like first a teacher tells, like inspires kids of what to do and puts a narrative and ask all asks all the proper questions and 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 it's only then when the students get to play the game. Cats are still not happy. I created two yarn ball collectors and... You just don't listen to us, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm already... I, I have my own problem that I'm trying to solve in this game. Like, I'm already into it. And you're like she's talking... Running, she's running in satisfaction business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then again, I think that's cool. I think that is cool. I think, like, yeah, I remember how hard was it to get your buy-in for the original game. But right now, when the onboarding is slower and you, when you have more narrative, I think it was easier for you to, to, to play this yeah, game and way to more, enjoy it. Yeah, way more easier. I have an assumption here that is happening because the the goals, the objectives are much more clear for her. Yes, exactly. Also, well, I understand why I'm doing this, like, for, for cats, for the sake of cats. And also, I like the thing that I cannot destroy everything in the map. Because, <laughs> I like you did. Because, yeah, like, in a uh, usual game, I did destroy everything, and later on I had problems with that, because... Well, uh, this is why it's easier. So, like, some things are limited for me, so I don't have to think that much. 
I'm I have to find solutions, and they're like kind of pointed out to me, like okay, there's nothing left to do for you. Try this one. Yeah, like and uh, for me it was super fun to see how pretty much the teacher's guide again that you can get at Luden IO, how this teacher guide pretty much knew what would happen next, what questions would the student have. And how there is like the whole narrative for the teacher of what to do and what, what questions to ask. And it was just super fun. And so Lyra was having fun. I did. I did have fun. What about you, Alec? You, you, you were a teacher today. Yeah, but <laughs> the main thing I have learned today is that it's super hard to be a teacher and much harder than to be a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> so, teachers, you are doing amazing Job. work, yeah. and uh, I'm super happy to, to, to try out this role and to figure out how hard it is. And uh, yeah. Rita, Rita what was... about you? Rita, yeah. what about you? How it was for you? Did it go like you expected or...? Completely not, actually, but I was actually really curious to watch how you're navigating in the game without our help. Uh, uh -huh. I was really curious to understand that actually everything can go in so much, so many different directions. So we have to maybe narrow some things down and make, uh, make maybe the teacher's guide in some places a little bit easier, clearer, or, you know, like less cumbersome for both for teachers and for, you know, kids. That's great. So you have uh, more job to do. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And, uh, wow. Congratulations. So we have yeah. five lessons already ready and a uh, guide for that. And uh, we are getting five more lessons. And in the meantime, uh, oh, dear teachers, if you like what you have seen on the screen, you can either talk to Rita or you can go directly to luden.io and download the game for Windows, Mac, Linux, get the lesson plans, and obviously watch more videos like this one and get inspired. Yeah. Also, also, also one more thing. One more thing. There is two more things. Two more things. There is a newsletter with all these videos so you don't miss them, they just land in your inbox along other cool uh, stuff from Luden.io. And um, there is a community. There is a community on Discord where you can go and talk to players of the game, to talk to Rita, to talk to game developers, and it's just so cool. Awesome. And the first thing would be, actually, I was really happy that we finally showed the educational version of Learning Factory. It was really, it, it's a really important milestone for us that five lessons are ready and they're available for players, for teachers. So don't miss this opportunity. Yes. Yes, it's time to say goodbye for today. Yes? Goodbye. <laughs> no? Bye. <laughs>